As an engineer, I was beginning to get more involved with management and with, uh, with economics. I think engineering is a very good basis for, for a, a management career, but engineers weren't turning into good managers. So I was trying to convert myself into being a good manager. I, I wasn't quite sure exactly whether to try with something entirely new or to pick up entrance in the United States. A friend of mine had gone to Stanford and uh, he was able to explain what he was doing there. But I rather liked the idea of setting off with something new. I rather liked the idea of being on the first course. It was called an MSc Econ and uh, it, they, it got its own, it was later, I think about 10 years later, MSCs became MBAs. It was very much a sort of uh, experimental approach, but uh, I learned some very practical skills here. Uh, so, for example, without knowing about accounting and finance, you can't be a businessman. That's the lingua franca of the whole thing. If you don't understand the numbers and the profit and loss and the balance sheet, and the investment process, you're not going to be a businessman. We also had a jolly good uh, program in behavioral science, uh, which really gave us a good grounding in people. And in every company that I've run, I've always tried to make sure I've got a two-way process going throughout the whole company, which gets a leadership program uh, into place, and a leadership program which is cohesive and is pointing in some direction which is which is predictable. Once I'd got the masters under my belt, I felt I wasn't quite sure whether I wanted to go back into the oil industry. Uh, I could have done, uh, and indeed I was, I was uh, approached by um, a, a mining company, uh, RTZ, uh, Rio Tinto as it now is, and, and General Motors. And I was sort of choosing between you know, the, uh, some of the past uh, or the car industry. And, and I, 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 I elected to go uh, with General Motors, and, uh, and certainly it was the, the start of a very exciting career. Fairly quickly, when I'd got a, a grounding uh, and a bit of General Motors paint on me, I was given uh, profit responsibility for an organization of 250 people and in a magnificent sort of place and arena to, to sort of hone up your skills. I would have said that probably Jaguar would not have survived if me or somebody like me hadn't turned up when I did. Uh, I think their, their wits end as to what to do with it. It was losing so much money. I think it had been held together by a number of people and they'd been putting no resources into the company and it was really at the absolute end of the track. They couldn't sell it to anybody, nobody would buy it. Uh, it was basically a dead duck. I deliberately set about to try and become a chairman. I realized that being a chief executive, and I would say not autocratic, but certainly purposeful, uh, I thought that's not going to work uh, as a chairman. And how to make sure I can, as it were, get a board of directors to work as a team. I, at first I thought it was the sort of nuts and bolts of knowing about the city and knowing about balance sheets and all this stuff was what chairman was about, but no, it's a, it's a leadership role. You're trying to create a team, and especially in our UK system of half uh, executives and half non-executives, it's teamwork. And it's trying to make sure that um, you've got the critical skills uh, being developed within the company but also that you've got realism about those critical skills and you've got a second opinion from your non-executive directors. I think we're all probably, as chief executives, we've all got a hint of, um, uh, let's not call it madness, but let's call it purposefulness, where, which is overwhelming, a bit overpowering. And so really you've got to temper that desire to get things done with a wish to do it well and to have some sort of wish to, to leave things better than you found them. And so I've found my, my life has been really a, a, a constant mixture of really trying to get things done, but then secondly trying to put in place the framework for doing it well.